Irvin, and today's Tuesday Tweak is called, What's Going On? Seriously. We've got all kinds of news about inflation. The cost of products are going up. The cost of everything is going up. What are the factors that influence inflation? Production costs, salaries, wages. I bet you all small business owners are feeling that for sure. Demand for products. Now, demand for products are going up because one, we've had a supply chain problem, and two, the market is very hot and there's lots of economic activity. And then other things that cause inflation are fiscal policy. So our country is retracted. We're going to increase interest rates to slow down inflation. But that obviously puts pressure, more pressure on the price of goods and creates slows down growth, which what does that do to your business? We also have a war in Ukraine. We have thousands of people crossing the border into our country that we need to deal with. And now no baby formula. I mean, seriously, what is going on? All of these are flags, are big red flags about something disastrous is coming. Yet my clients and the business owners I'm talking to, they're continuing to see growth, they're continuing to see good demand. And so it's just so confusing out there. What can you expect and how do you prepare for it? So I'm calling this the year of the R. And for first, in the beginning of the year, we were all talking about the great resignation and all the people who are leaving the workforce. And now we're talking about a recession. So which is it? Do we have lots of talent and we're trying to find people to hire or are we headed into a recession and we're gonna be firing people? It's confusing. So how do you prepare given the fact we don't know what's going to happen? And we don't always know what's gonna happen, but there's a lot less stability and a lot more uncertainty in today's world than there was a while back. Even with COVID, we sort of knew what to do and how to do it. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have a lot of cash. Cash on hand is critical. I'm suggesting that you have two or three months worth of definitely your fixed costs and maybe even some of your variable costs. And if you have a line of credit, you might even consider drawing some of it out because a lot of times when the banks get tight, they won't let you have your line of credit. But sit on some cash. Now this could be both offensive and defensive. Defensive to make sure that if, if your clients pay you late or if supplies or products are slow to, to reach your door, um, products that you need for production, this will give you the time. You'll be able to make payroll. You'll be able to make vendor payments. So it gives you the time to, to withstand those delays. Um, but offensive, because what if your neighbor, what if your competitor goes out of business? You wanna be able to take advantage of that. So a little bit of both. Number two, absolutely talk to your clients. Find out what they're seeing, find out what they're thinking. Are they going to delay the start of a project that you're planning on working on? Or are they ready to move forward? Good to go. Are they delaying payments? Things are slowing down for them and they're slowing down on their uh, vendor payments. So really keep in touch with your clients and, and see what they're thinking, see what they're saying, and see if what they're saying and what they're doing match. And finally, join a mastermind. Absolutely, you cannot live on the top of that mountain all by yourself. Find out what's going on in the real world with other industries, with other things that might impact you. I mean, who knew that the war in Ukraine would increase the gas prices in the Dallas pumps? Those kinds of consequences you can find out and learn more about from, from a small group of business owners who are facing the same kind of challenges. Different industries always helps. Now, I know that's a little self-serving because I have a mastermind class, but if you don't need to join mine, just find a group of business owners that are like-minded to discuss what they're seeing in their business because it'll have ramifications for yours. Maybe down the road, maybe positive, maybe negative, but just getting a lot of different ideas is a good way to prepare for what is ahead that is not known. Okay, questions, comments, thoughts, I'd love to hear from you. Send me an email or text me or call me. 
i will see you next week thanks